In this video I will show you how to successfully create a dual boot. I'm going to be using Windows Vista and Windows XP using Windows Vista as my main operating system. Um, first off you will need to create a partition that you will install Windows XP to. If you don't know how to create a partition watch my um, video on how to create a partition without reinstalling Windows um, yeah so create your partition and install Windows XP or whichever Windows whichever operating system you prefer or you want to install for a dual boot um, and I will then carry on recording from my um, XP point of view once I've installed Windows XP Right, so once Windows uh, XP has been installed on your system, um, you will need to um, download a free program called the EasyBCD. Easy you can get this by going to the internet, um, going to Google and type in EasyBCD, um, click on the first link, go right to the bottom of this page, and select download, uh, run the... Uh, run the uh, installer install the um, the program and once it's installed load it up and um, you will need to download um, net framework to also run this program so um, before you at if you've installed a fresh version and um, you've just installed it then before you download easy BCD if you go to Google and type in net framework 3 and go to this um, this top one and then select download here uh, once that's all finished um, installing once it's installed and um, then continue to download easy bcd and load up the program Uh, I don't know what's going on here. Hmm. What's it under? Smart technologies. I don't know what that was all about. Um, but you'll need to go to bootloader setup, install, and make sure install the Windows Vista forward slash seven bootloader is um, selected, and click right MBR. Go to edit boot menu and click on um, so add new entry and go up here click on Windows XP and name it I'm just going to leave it as that click on automatically detect correct drive and click add entry and that should then put it into the boot menu here edit boot menu as you can see there Microsoft Windows XP and um, but now we need to that should already be there practically but we now need to um, so make sure Windows XP is there first. I don't know what happened to um, mine. It like just didn't work for some reason. Um, but then now we need to add Vista to this. So um, if you've got Windows XP already on the boot menu on this edit boot menu section, then you can skip adding Windows XP but you still need to click on write MBR for Windows Vista and um, so then add new entry and select Windows Vista forward slash 7 I'm going to change this from 7 to Vista since I've got Vista and um, select the drive I'm just going to go to my computer here and I can see Windows Vista is on drive F try select F click add entry 
and then go to edit boot menu and as you can see Windows Vista has been there now if I select Vista as a default just like that and then select the timeout down here I'm going to change from 10 to 5 and then click save and then you can close that program and that should be um, your um, dual boot fully set up I'm, and working now I'm going to show you what it would look like now um, I'm going to have to use my uh, use a camera because I cannot record when um, there's no when Windows is not loaded up so I will show you what it looks like using a camera So I've loaded back up uh, Vista and if you could see from that camera footage that um, it said that my, um, actually if I just load up, um, I've downloaded EasyBC BCD on my Vista operating system just to make any tweaks like I'm going to do now so I'd recommend you do that because um, sometimes it doesn't always um, save properly but usually once you've loaded up your default operating system which is Vista then um, it should save properly so edit boot menu again as you can see um, it's come up as XP uh, Windows Vista Home Premium recovered now I don't want it to say recovered from the list as, um, if you're seeing it from the, uh, the camera I don't, want it, I don't want it to say that I want it to be like that, Microsoft Windows. So, just I'm just going to rename this and change this. I'm going to put Microsoft Windows Vista. Hit enter, and then um, I'm going to change this back to five, and click save. And um, that should it. That should be done, and you're ready to go for um, to dual boot. So, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you next time.